Gang, gang, gang. What's popping with y'all, man? Top of the morning to the king and queens out there, man. Welcome back to the Street University Podcast. I am your host, Carnage Slaughter. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button um, and all the above. We know what's up, man. <clears throat> now, when I step on the scene, gang, I already, you know, I, I always feel amazing. I feel like a superstar no matter what. And I might tell me, gang, you look like a superstar. Shout out to the family. Shout out, cuz. Um, I am that superstar. You already know that. That's why I be telling everybody to hit that like button before I'm famous, gang. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can already be on the scene with me. But um, let's get into the topic, man. Learn to let go of all negativity, you know? Old negativity seem to hold you back. Um, I know a lot of people that I know are held back from old negativity, which is sad, you know. I think I think there's other means and other ways I want to, you know, um, push your energy towards positive things. There's other ways to do so. Now we might not know all the ways, but it don't hurt trying to learn them ways. It don't hurt trying to go about, you know, seeing how we, you know. Uh, uh, exercise those rights in those ways. A lot of people, you know, they they, they hang on to negativity, gang, which it do them bogus in the long run. It leave them scrambling for help. It leave them scrambling, you know, for hope and attention from somewhere. And at the end of the day, you know, uh, that hope and attention, you know, it never comes from nowhere. I feel like this. I feel like the life we live in right now, gang, it ain't the time to be sad. And, you know, sorrow now. It ain't the time to be, you know, down on yourself, gang. It ain't the time to be hanging on the old negativity. It's time to actually rise. It's time to take off. It's time to leap for It's entrepreneurship time. I was telling my family yesterday, you know, we was at a family gathering. One of the greatest family gatherings. Um, shout out to everybody that put that together yesterday. Shout out to um, uh, my wife and her sister, my sister, putting that together. That was another blessing. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it was marvelous, man. It was marvelous. And it showed me yesterday, you can't let go of all negativity, you know. I remember it was a point in time in my life I used to be so negative, gang. I used to be so negative, but I had to turn that around. And uh, I had to start seeing and paying attention and recognize that I was the only reason I was so negative because, you know, I'm up to myself. Um, I was unhappy with myself. Um, I was unhappy with the decisions I was making and, you know, uh, all the things of that nature. At the end of the day, gang, I feel like this. Hold on, hold on, gang. Yeah, my cat. I'm trying to stay on my lap. At the end of the day, I feel like this, man. I feel like um negative negativity burrows with us and, 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 it, and it runs with us everywhere we go. But we gotta learn how to operate uh, around it, against it, uh not for it. We gotta learn how to operate, you know, all the way against the negativity. And we got to learn how to generate that energy for positivity towards something else, gang. Now, um, at the end of the day, I feel like this. Hold on, baby. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you all. Yeah, my son smashed his leg. Fucked him up. Got him injured. You know, and, and, and some people hold on to negativity, gang, so tough for so long that, you know, it drags them down throughout their life. Um, You know, they don't they don't know how to stay positive. They don't know how to, um, you know what I'm saying? generate that positive energy for themselves so they can stay above all the evil shit so they can stay above their low vibrating self you know and right now you know in 2023 i've seen some some of the most marvelous people vibrating at their lowest and that's sad watch out cat that's sad gang you know it's sad when you got to vibrate at your lowest when nobody ever taught you how to vibrate high. nobody ever taught you how to be your higher self and to be your higher self, you gotta learn how to discipline your now self. You know what I'm saying? Discipline your now self. Uh, discipline that part of you and, and understand that this is that part of you, a greater part of you. You know what I'm talking about? Understand that, gang. Uh, with that being said, with that being said, gang, recognize that. You know what I'm saying? We all got chances. We all got times. You know, we all got positive times and negative times. But at the most part, for the most part, the most positive. And that's how you make everything come to life. That's how you bring everything forth. That's how you manifest everything. Um, you know, uh, that's how you do it. And positivity is the key. You know, positivity is the key. No matter if somebody played you, 
you feel played, somebody got over on you game. There's so many things in life that I feel and I feel played on. Uh got over on the I would never look at life the same, game, you know, but it's okay because for that fact, for that matter of fact, come on, cat, you irritate, man. Damn. For that matter of fact, it's like this. It's like I still push forward and I remain the same person. I am not the same as far as emotional or or spiritually, but I remain the same person as far as humble, loyal. I remain that same person as far as friendly, as far as just me. Me being so at the end of the day, it's a lot of people who can't remain that you know they don't know how to remain themselves, they don't even know where to begin at to look for themselves and who they really is. Man, feel me? They don't, they don't know what that means. Some people don't want to find out who they really is because who they really is can be so evil, who they really is can be so devilish, and that's the end. You know, that's sad. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, um, the new you, the new you, supposed to be the marvelous you, the new you, supposed to be the greatest you. I'm talking about reaching. The rich, reaching um pinnacles and points you never rest. Uh, um, getting getting to the bag, getting to the top, getting that job done. A lot of cats out here got jobs they don't want to do. That could be spiritual, that could be physically, mentally, whatever, whatever it is. You got to be able to do it. You got to be able to put the energy for towards doing it. And a lot of y'all, y'all so lazy out there. You got used to what you used to in life. You got used to what you're doing now, sitting around doing nothing big and waiting with your hand out. You got used to hoping and waiting on somebody to come bring you something. You got used to that. And that's sad. Some of you niggas don't even know how to go watch and get it for yourself, man. Some of you niggas can't go get it for yourself. Let me tell you why. You ain't got the go get it spirit. Ain't nobody taught you how to go get it. You ain't been with a man. You feel me? That'll make sure you go get it. Or a woman, make sure you go get it. You know? That's real. That's real. Some of y'all, you know, some of y'all be hoping that somebody else will give it to you in life. You know what I'm saying? A come here you go, gang. I got you. No, it don't work like that, gang. You gotta put your own two foot in. You gotta put your work in. You gotta be, you gotta be that one that's you know getting up working. You gotta be that one that's out there grinding. You gotta be hitting the streets, hitting the black top, making sure you feel me that whatever you need, my nigga, you gotta get it. You gotta grab it because like I said, life is too short and you wait on nobody. So at the end of the day, you ain't finna, it ain't like you finna have help. You know what I'm saying? You got to be actually out there entrepreneur shit, uh, actually out there attacking the baseline. And, and if the baseline consists of you putting in hard work, you had a job, then so be it. You do that. You put your hard work in. You go to that job. You make it happen. Um, uh, you get your check. You, you you make sure you take care of your family and your friends and stuff. And um, you go on. But some of y'all, y'all be so evil, gang, and you want to rob everybody. You out here on the street robbing people. You putting guns to people's face. You taking people uh hard earned money, uh y'all going in people cribs, bringing people cribs. That shit, that shit comes to a halt. All that shit gotta stop. All that shit gotta stop. And look, every every time I upload a short, I show y'all it's something wild in Milwaukee that took place. And people, I have people in my comments like, man, you proud of that? No, I ain't proud of that dickhead. I'm just, <coughs> I'm showing y'all, <laughs> excuse me, I'm showing y'all how wild it is up here. <clears throat> no reason. How wild and heinous it is up here, and how these children act, how these people act, how the adults act. Now, it ain't worse as Florida. <clears throat> Florida, they killing the shit out of us. The man, the man went in there with a uh, assault rifle, shooting three black people, four black people. Maybe I'm wrong. A couple more probably got injured, a couple less. But <clears throat> all I know is they black people are people who's been targeted, gang, and that's messed up. You know, and I feel like we should be able to fight. <laughs> we should be able to fight. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? For the, the justice of us. If we do <clears throat> like fight for the justice of us, if we do fight for that, we should be able to fight for the rights of not being uh, shunned because we're trying to take up for ourselves or help ourselves and protect ourselves. We should be able to do that without being looked upon, frowned upon the wrong way, without being took for granted, without being took not serious, um, without being took as a threat. You know, because a lot of times they think we a threat. They think we here to harm people because we just, you know, verbally expressing ourselves. No, we expressing ourselves and how we really feel and our feelings behind these things, gang. And a lot of people don't get no fuck. So it's like we got to start caring ourselves, man. <laughs>
we gotta start caring about ourselves and making sure that in the hood, you know, or in the community that we again, we gotta start making sure that we care and we, you know what I'm saying, know what we're doing and we got the resources to make sure everything uh is everything, make sure every end meets, making sure everything goes goes down, how supposed to go down. Um <clears throat> It's a lot of objects or objectives or, you know, it's a lot of things out there, situations that stop us from doing so. But then again, you know, it's open doors for us. And we got to take those matters in our own hands, man. And and by doing so, you got to let go of the old negativity. You got to start, you know, building a new you, uh, brushing off the old you, grabbing some of them old skills that you used to have, some of them old talents, and put them into this new, you know, found uh, uh, mission that you got for yourself. Put, this, put those skills into this new, um, um, um journey you take it yourself and with that being said you know like, you know look at it that way people just wake up to live from day to day they don't wake up and live for the future some people feel like they ain't got a future and they and that's sad some people feel like you know it's the end of their life or some people now, and when you get in that ball gang you fuck when you get in any situation that's bad and you don't recognize yourself then no bad time lasts but you start telling yourself yo this is it this is all i got this is you know what I'm saying? Man, come on, you giving up on life yourself. You giving up on life, and I don't like when around me give up on life. I hate that shit. We the last set of down breeds, you feel me? So we can't give up on life. I ain't never had to give up on my body. Every time I get up, I think go hard or go home. Every time I get up, I think, you know, make a difference, make a better chance. You feel me? Every time, that's every morning I wake up, you're supposed to have that same feeling. Some of y'all supposed to have that same feeling. I remember when I had nothing, gang. I remember when I was at a point in time in my life when, you feel me, I had to beg for everything and ask for everything. And, uh, you know, I was out there on the streets panhandling and shit like that. You feel me? Asking to beg for money, gang. But <clears throat> God changed all that shit around. Yeah, he changed all that shit around, gang. That shit started changing for the better. And um, a lot of people started looking down on me more. Like, damn, nigga, you bummed out. You just that you up. You know, but at the end of the day, I started rising, over rising, and, 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 and surpassing certain people that was already in the game, certain people that already had a foot embedded in. I'm, I'm passing them up with flying covers. You know what I'm saying? But, <clears throat> and the only thing I do is try to help other people to uh, pass, you know, they, they, they lowest self, help other people, you know, get beyond they, they know itself, you know? Um, Cause at the end of the day, you never want to be at your lowest. You never want to be at your lowest, big dog. You always want to remain a big dog. You know, you want to remain a big dog. You ain't a big dog yet. You want to get to big dog status. You want to make sure you're doing everything to get there. But the negativity y'all been hanging on to, you can't get nowhere with that negativity on your heart. Your heart is the is the um, worst vessel. Your heart is the most heinous vessel, gang, in your life. You feel me? That motherfucker gonna take your brain and everything else. You feel in your heart, you know? It's gonna take everything else, gang. So you gotta make sure your heart right. Make sure your thought process is right to think clear. You know, how to have a clear head. Have a conscious mind, too. Some of y'all live in life unconsciously. You know what I'm saying? Walking around this bitch like zombies. You walking around this motherfucker like a zombie gang, it ain't working. You gotta get a little more life in you, gang. Start walking around this motherfucker like a zombie, man, and get it together. That's a real deal. <clears throat> but I love y'all, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer, gang. I am out. Y'all make sure y'all watch your circle before they merge you. If you feel generous, you can cash out, you know, or cash out across the bottom. Um, other than that, I'm gone, man. Y'all already know how it go. You know, stick, keep your ears to the street, stay out the way, man. You feel me? Come on. Gang, 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 what's up, man? This your boy, Colonel Slaughter, man. Welcome back to the Street University. I'd like to thank all y'all who came out, you know, gave me a little bit of your time by coming to my channel, both channels, watching the video. I really appreciate y'all, man. And those of y'all that did not hit the subscribe button as you step in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Those of y'all that did not hit that like button as you step in or step out, you feel me? Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Make sure my views match my likes, gang. So y'all can keep me in the algorithm and keep me moving and grooving, you feel me? How y'all have been doing, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know I love y'all. Without y'all, there wouldn't be a me. So, man, I'm out.